Hi everybody, Paul Richards here with Chris Burgos. Hey everybody. Chris is going to give us an introduction to the brand new TC1 TriCaster here at the JBNA pre-NAB show event and hopefully he'll tell us a little bit about what to expect from new tech yes. at the NAB show this year. All this and more coming up next. Hey Paul, I'm here to showcase the new brand new TC1. Uh, we have the interface up here, we have the brand new sleek control surface, and I really want to get into some of the cool features we have. Uh, one of the things I really want to showcase is that now with the TC1 we have 16 inputs that we can choose from, and we can switch through and take along, push along. That's a cool new feature we have going on. We still have four mix effects, video playback as well, but one of the things we're really leveraging when we're talking about the TC1 is our NDI protocol. Yes. And, you know, if you haven't heard about NDI, I'll give you the quick pitch. NDI is going to get your IP video to and from all your devices, and it automatically self-discovers. So there's no real intense setup. You just set your, turn your devices on, plug them on the same network, and you can start doing video across. Just for some reference up here, we actually have a, a PTZ Optics camera plugged into our system, which is coming out over here. Yep. Um, one. We have confirmed the PTZ Optics works with the TriCaster TC1. TC1. And we also, so, so now we have a bevy more of, of sources coming up here. So uh, literally every other input coming into my system is coming in from an IP source. So I'm switching across here on the program, and all these pieces, we've got a little bit of Rocket League footage here that's coming in on the TC1. We have some green screen footage. We actually have some footage playing off my laptop right now. We have a built-in Skype channel now. If you guys are familiar with Skype yeah. TX, New Tech does a lot of work with Skype TX. We make this product called the Talk Show. We integrated two channels of the Skype TX Talk Show into the TC1. So people who are looking for that all-inclusive production device, the TC1 is starting. If we come down a little bit here, we can start to see the rack a bit. And right here is the TC1. We see some of the input modules as well. Um, all we're looking at is the TC1 to start, and if you need to expand your old school SDI workflows, hey, we have input modules as well. Oh, so is that what those are, those VMC1s, those are input modules? Yeah, so those are input modules, and they will basically convert your uh, existing HDSDI connections into IP connections, or NDI connections in this case. Wow. So each input module of these kind will give you four, but we have a new NC1 that we'll be showcasing on the floor, and that guy will give you eight, either in or out, wow. so it's an in or out for module. And I see you've got the new Wowza media system device yeah, so as well. Yeah, so if, if we come back up here, we can actually showcase the media DS. Um, if you ever wanted to get into multiple kinds of streaming setups, the MDS is designed for you. If you ever wanted to deliver content directly to your end users, your, your clients, without having to go through a system like a YouTube Live or something like that, the media DS has a lot of cool functions. So first and foremost, we'll just look over, and it's got four different setups here. It's actually taking the output of my system, my, my TC1. It's also got an output coming off another system that we have paused, put video playback, some of the Rocket League footage, some video of our CTO Angel Cross. And we could go through and have these streamed to different places. One of these could be streamed to Facebook Live. One of these could be streamed to YouTube Live. Or, as you pointed out, Paul, it's a collaboration with us and Wowza. So there's actually the Wowza streaming engine and a server built into the Media DS. So if you wanted to stream directly to your end users, you could with the Media DS. Wow. So can you give us just a uh, last thing I wanted to ask you is, what can we expect? I mean, NAB is tomorrow, so it's yes. not like you're letting any cats out of the bag, yes. but what is gonna be cool and exciting about NAB? Maybe that new studio experience studio center? experience. If you guys have a chance and you haven't seen NDI in the wild, you can come visit our booth and we'll give you guys a bunch of different demos and all the different types of production sports and broadcast, but if you really want to get the NDI experience, go over to where we have the studio experience, the NDI setup, and when you get in there, ask everybody about their gear. I guarantee you everything is being connected over IP. So every single one of these manufacturers, not New Tech First Party, these guys are third party guys making their own stuff, is interconnected and is just a massive amount of ease and just great usage for NDI and you guys can see it firsthand in a lot of different applications. So I recommend you go see that booth, come see us on the floor, and uh, go see the PTZ Optic guys as well. Thank you so much, Chris. Um, this is gonna be such a fun show, and thanks a lot, appreciate it. Thanks for coming out, man. See you Don't soon. forget to like and subscribe, New Tech, Inc., and uh, PTZ Optics. Bye-bye.
Click to watch another exciting PTZ Optics video. And don't forget to subscribe. Tune in Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific, 2 p.m. Eastern to join our live show with new industry experts interviewed every week.